With an estimated 175,000 car trips per day passing over the Howard's Franklin Bridge, it is without a doubt one of the busiest bridges in America. Now with an estimated renovation project cost of $865 million, let's take a look at the decades-long history of this historic structure. But first, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more construction and infrastructure content. Who was Howard Franklin? Initially, when you hear the name of this bridge, you might think of the person who built it, or at least played the most part in executing it. The bridge's namesake, Howard Franklin, was born in Tennessee in 1901 and was the son of a horse buggy salesman. Not much is known about his childhood, but in 1925, he moved to Tampa and bought a gas station. After the smashing success of the gas station, he sold it and built a tire shop right at the corner of Tampa and Whiting Streets downtown. It had a massive tower which helped his business become even more prominent. Howard Franklin was awarded patents on at least five different products. As a wise and visionary man, Franklin was able to predict the shortage of rubber during World War II, so he changed his plan and offered the services of retreading tires rather than replacing them, which turned out to be very lucrative for the enterprising individual. Franklin also tried his luck in several other businesses. He became the president of First National Bank and the Tampa Chamber of Commerce. He then went on to serve on the Florida State Road Board for over a half century. Howard Franklin was quite instrumental to Tampa's growth. The 1960s. Interestingly, the original span of the Howard Franklin Bridge carried two lanes in different directions, with no emergency lanes. It had a short concrete strip that separated east and westbound traffic. Unfortunately, the bridge proved to be a dangerous drive. In just two years, a significant number of fatal car accidents had occurred. Among the accidents, the most common was the head-on collision due to the tapered concrete's inability to keep the cars away from veering into oncoming traffic. The 1970s. In this decade, a taller concrete wall was built, called a Jersey Barrier, which became the new divider. To avoid the huge number of accidents, a solid white line was added that made lane changes on the bridge illegal. But it still provoked accidents. The bridge was just a source of misery for people. It was even jokingly dubbed the Howard Frankenstein Bridge. By the late 1970s, the bridge proved to be inadequate. A system of alternate routes was created with the opening of a crosstown expressway in South Tampa in 1975. There were several ideas discussed and tossed for a replacement throughout the upcoming years. The 1980s. All 80s kids would remember that there was an abrupt slowdown with the narrow lanes, and the bridge was overall quite intimidating to cross. The tall center divider would make the area commuters feel trapped, and even by that time, there was still no sense of security against the semis going in the opposite direction. An interesting fact about this bridge during this time period is that people would get out and start fishing on the bridge when, at times, it was stopped for hours. Clearly, something had to be done, and after years of ideas and construction plans, the renewed construction of the bridge began in 1988. We are getting close to modern day, but before we move ahead, let's have a look at some interesting facts about the bridge when it first opened. Total cost of construction prior to new construction, $6.5 million. Overall length of the bridge, 15,872 feet. Type of construction, 348 spans consisting of reinforced concrete deck slabs on pre-stressed concrete girders, supported on concrete piers and steel H-piles. Pounds of steel used, 15 million. Cubic yards of concrete used, 84,000. 221,460 linear feet of 24-inch square pre-stressed concrete piling, 22,656,000 board feet of creosoted timber, opening of the new bridge in 1991. A new westbound span was complete. The bridge now had twice as many lanes as the old two-way one, and it was quite smoother as a road surface. It left room for emergency lanes as well. It was a final goodbye to the Howard's Frankenstein Bridge. Demand for a new bridge. 
By the time of the early 2000s, traffic backups and situations became a norm. It was specifically Tampa-bound traffic. Finally making it over the bridge, the interchange from the four lanes of the bridge to two at the following Kennedy Boulevard was a major bottleneck. There were several roads in connection, especially the route to Tampa International Airport was rebuilt, where one lane was used for existing and one for merging. The existing road infrastructure was not built to handle four lanes of traffic merging effectively. Additionally, the eastbound bridge was a modern road surface, but its pilings were still from the 1950s and were becoming overdue for replacement. Way forward toward the construction plan. A reconstruction plan was initiated starting in 2017 for the new expressway project. However, FDOT, the Florida Department of Transportation, wanted to remake the interstate in more modest stages as opposed to the first bigger two-stage project, which was postponed to 2020. Currently, the construction is relying heavily on barges to complete work. When the reconstruction project is completed in 2025, major traffic on Howard Franklin is supposed to be decreased. Although there have been some unexpected delays in the delivery of necessary bridge equipment, progress is well underway. The six-mile bridge will cost more than $865 million, with about 250 workers on the job site each day. A lot of you might be speculating about how the new design will benefit the bridge and its commuters. The unique design will improve the incident management and emergency response situations, and it will address the safety concerns raised by the community. Hurricane evacuation plans are in the pipeline to ensure better utilization of this bridge. The new design will provide improved operations and better possibilities for future transit. It will also include bicycle and pedestrian trails. Lastly, the additional express lane in each direction will ensure a better outlook of the Howard Franklin Bridge for potential utilization by autonomous vehicles. The famous Howard's Franklin Bridge in Tampa, Florida, a massive bridge with a great limelight that has a deep history in the region. Have you ever visited this bridge? Comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more construction and infrastructure videos.